Well, good morning, Dirtfish friends. We're on a road section between stage three and four. We've had one stage already this morning. Interesting stage. It was the same stage they ran in the dark last night. We saw very, very small gaps last night. Slightly bigger gaps in that stage this morning. Now, take a look at this. Thierry Neuville, this was the damage to the opening stage yesterday afternoon at the racetrack. And remember, there was no service this morning. Uh, there is a service at lunchtime, but they don't have body parts to replace on the car. So he's going to have to, I think, drive all day with that damage there. He's done his best to obviously uh, tidy it up a little bit. What? It's a coldish morning. It's a dampish morning. Uh, stages are... I have to say from driving across here, we've driven a long way this morning. Some areas under the trees, really quite damp, almost wet. Other areas, like here, nearly dry. So a uh, changing grip, changing conditions in the stages this morning. We have 110 kilometers in total today, so just under 100 left with the remaining five stages. Um, Sebastian Ogier, well, he was quickest through the opening stage this morning. A good run from Thierry, though. He is going to benefit today from potentially a cleaner road. Uh, let's see if we can grab a quick word, Martin, there. Just getting themselves together. They've got another few minutes before they head into the stage. Let's have a little look around and see. I do like the helmet. Thierry's just putting... Thierry, feeling good this morning? Oh, it's OK. Difficult conditions, though, I would imagine, with the dampness under the trees, dry in other places. Yeah, it will be tricky out there. Um, a bit foggy as well, so... Yeah. Yep. Are you, are you feeling anything with that wheel arch missing? Does it? Does it? Can you feel it in the car or not? For sure, it's not a benefit, <coughs> but it's drivable. Absolutely. Best of luck, Thierry. Doing what he has to do, Thierry Neuville out there. Yeah. Look, as he said, it's 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 not a benefit. Um, you would ideally like all of your your aero to be there, uh, but there we are. So Thierry Neuville heading in to stage four of the event. Four more. Having a little chat with Julian and Gracia. Let's go and see where we can... Might try and grab a word with Julian as well. Let's see if we can grab a word with him. Now, has he done this event? He won't have done this event. Whose signatures are these on the car? Who signed that? Whose is that? Someone's touched the car when they're not allowed. Whose signature is that, Alex? Do you know who that is? It... It's a gift, you know? Gift for great... He's the Vistian Vector is Grewa Monster. Ah, oh, it's the G-Monster. Ah, oh, it's the G-Monster. Okay. There we are. The G-Monster signing the car. Uh, now, he's going to have a word with Adrian. He, uh, yeah, he drove as well as he could through that opening stage. He lost five or six seconds through the opening stage. Good morning, Julian and Gracia. How are you this morning? I'm fine. Happy to be here. Yes. Leaving, leaving a bit of the competition. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where did you stay last night? How did you manage to find your way to this point? We, we seem to have driven over half of Germany to get here this morning. <laughs> I booked my own uh, smaller uh, ah. guest guest houses, and uh, I, you know what? All those years of running uh, are useful at one point. You know, <laughs> I can find my way to find those guys in the middle of nowhere, and yourself also. <laughs> it, it was an effort this morning. I have to say, it was a real effort. But yeah, next year we'll talk to you before we book our accommodation. Difficult conditions this morning, though, Julian. Uh, you know, in, in places it's foggy, in places it's wet, in other places it's dry. How difficult do you think it will be for the drivers to commit in these conditions? Uh, once again, a big job for the gravel crew indeed. Yeah. Maybe, probably you spoke a bit uh, before. Uh, but we see also that the conditions are changing very quickly. Yeah. From the moment we left the, the small service this morning and now, um, with the guy I spoke with uh, right now, it starts to have some regrets not to have some wet tires in the boots. You think so? They, they, I, I don't think so. This is what they say. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. Listen, who is doing uh, gravel notes for Seb this weekend? Who's the driver? Who's the co-driver? Stefan Lefebvre yes. and uh, Yannick Roche. There we go. There See we you. Go. Good to catch up with you. That's interesting. Uh, regressing, perhaps not taking the wet tyres out. That, that's... Mm. Uh, let's have a word with Mon Ami. making a few adjustments. We see this quite regularly. We'll not disturb him because he's counting and, and concentrating. Yeah, through the opening stage, his comment at the end of the opening stage was, you know, that felt good. I drove as well as I could, but he was five seconds off, nearly half a second a kilometre off the fastest time. 
a, a little bit disappointing. Good morning, Monami. Uh, making some changes. You, you weren't so happy after that opening stage, with the perf- not with your performance, but with the time. It's just every time we get on the bumpy, bumpy uh, section, we lose a lot of time. I struggle to keep the car on the road when it's bumpy. and It was already an issue in Croatia, and we have not done any, any development. And so is that the dampers, just not doing what they should be doing? Yeah, it's damper, yeah. So what can you do? You can't do an awful lot. It's just concentrate and... and I just try to survive now. Yeah. Uh, Julian, I will let you, we'll let you crack on. We'll let you crack on. Uh, who shall we ask about the wet tyres? There he is, the champ leading the rally. Andreas Mikkelsen, not a bad run for him through the opening three stages of the event. Oit Tanax going well. Just removing those blanks. A long road section, round about an hour and... Oh, an hour and ten minutes from the previous stage down to here, a long, long road section. So, the blanks on the front of the car just to keep a bit of heat in the front. Mm, now, has that come out? Has he taken? The, did you take that out? Have you lost that? Huh? The, the side window, where is it? On the roof. <laughs> this is me getting a little excited. Yeah, they come out nice and easily. You can see that. They're just those twist locks, aren't they? Twist lock in, twist lock in. It gives them access. Uh, what are they accessing into there? Whatever they need to access. Now, let's um, let's check some of the times then through the opening three stages of the event. Just taking a look on the wonderful EWRC site, just to give you the latest through that opening stage. Listen. Uh, who were we worried about last night? We were worried about Johan Rossell, weren't we? Uh, Rossell, though, has fixed that car. And um, and he's back on the road. Um, I need to double-check because there was talk there about a small service this morning. Maybe there was a little service. Certainly from what I could read, there wasn't one. But there may have been a service that allowed Rossell's team to fix that car. Otherwise, I can't imagine how he did it, to be totally honest with you. Yep, so stage three this morning. Uh, Auger was quickest. Neuville, second quickest, plus 3.2. Katsuta, yeah, that's the story of the day so far. Katsuta, third quickest and absolutely beaming. He's a happy, a happy driver indeed. He was third quickest through the, um, well, actually, he's third overall. He was, let's go back up the, uh, yeah, he was second quickest, second quickest in the States, third overall for Katsuta. Uh, really good performance for him. It'll be good to catch up with him when he gets here. Let's have a little word with Vinny. It, it is it is damp. I wouldn't say there's no rain coming down, but you can feel the dampness in the air, the low clouds. Yeah, yeah, not quite sure what that is, to be totally honest with you. Um, uh, it could be it could be something as simple as washer fluids. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? But blue. Um, we've got Luke with us. Luke, what do you reckon that is? What are we looking at? We're looking at the the well there, the fluid well. Oh. I've never noticed it before. I don't think it's new. No, do I, but I, I like his glasses case. That was quite funky, isn't it? The glasses case? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting. We'll ask Seb what that is. That, I, I don't know. I, I'll ask Seb just what that is. I won't ask him too much, but it's interesting. Seb, we're just wondering what that well is just to the right there. The what? The well with the blue fluid in it. Just to the, to the right. Uh, washer. washer, washer. We were right. I guess that. Thank you, Seb. Uh, feeling good this morning, Seb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. What do we expect in terms of dampness in this one? We expecting it to be quite... Oh, it does look like it's damp. Let's leave Seb to it. He's busy. Vinny's busy as well. They're all busy. Busy, busy, busy boys. Lots to do. It is a long road section. Uh, well, yeah, let's have a look what's going on here. Good luck, Seb. As always. Doesn't need it, does he? Uh, yeah, they're just making adjustments there. So it's the two of them just adjusting the suspension a little. Now, take a look at this, take a look at this. So have a look at this rear, the rear, the geometry of the suspension and the strut. You can see it's angled, it's angled at round about, well, I don't know what that is in terms of degrees. Come this side, Elliot. You might be able to see it here. So have a look, have a look at the way it's angled at round about whatever that degrees is. Come now and have a look at this. Look at this on the, the M Sport car. Straight up and straight down. Now, what we're hearing potentially is that Hyundai have changed that for next year. We know they've got these developments. The car we know that Jerry Neuville tested, didn't he? Uh, just before this event with those changes, that is part of apparently their homologation changes. The way that the, the struts are angled, the geometry of the suspension, 
Um, they have changed. We're, we understand for next year. Let's wait and see. But you can see it there as it goes up. It's quite an extreme angle compared to the absolute vertical of the upright on the M Sport car. And let's take a quick look at the Toyota as well. Ooh. Yeah, it's, it's it is straight up and down on the Toyota as well. So uh, yeah, it was they went against the the common thinking when they designed that. Um, there was a reason for it clearly, but maybe that's part of the reason they talk a lot about the traction at the rear of the car and the feeling at the rear of the car. And is that something to do with the angle of the struts? Maybe it is because they've changed it. We understand for next year. Yeah, yeah, and the front ones are the same on the Ford as well and on the, the, this, the, uh, on the Toyota. So, look, Barry. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of a journey to, to get across here this morning, wasn't it? Slight journey. Do we want to expose how um, our planning maybe let us down a tiny bit? Oh, actually, I, I'd say we saved the day. It was resourceful. We managed to get here just about in the nick of time. The plan was always to get here. <laughs> <laughs> and we made it. That's a good point. We did, we did make just a slightly different route to plan, but we got here. We got here. So there, there were one or two panicky moments where we discovered roads were closed because uh, our route was taking us through stages. Yeah, which wouldn't really be ideal. As much as we'd love to give our little score to Octavia, a bit of a run through some of this. We're not obviously reg registered in the rally. Road closed for us, but yeah. it's brilliant to be here though, isn't it? It's a fantastic privilege just to be so close to all these guys when they're doing all the setup changes and stuff. It's as Samuel Piari comes up from the hill. I absolutely love it. We are literally in the middle of the hills here. These little roads are the only way in and out of this area. It's, it's so, so in the middle of nowhere. Completely, completely. And we've got the task to try and find everyone. We think Taki Motokatsu is up this way as well. So maybe try to quickly find him, but he might be too far back, I'm not sure. Who do you think's up there? Uh, Taka. We'd love to catch up with Taka San. Let's have a word with Sammy, though. It was a decent run from Sammy Pyre through at the opening stage this morning. So let's take a little wander back here. Parked up in the village. We might have to get in the car to go and find Taka. Is that what he's saying? I thought he's left us. <laughs> he left us. Sammy Pyre is parked up. Look at it. It's a wonderful little place. Do you think this still works, Elliot? Here we go. I can feel, I can feel there's something there. Yeah, we have water. Anyway, we don't waste water. I wouldn't be drinking that. It's all a strange color. If you need some water, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Now, oh, hello. Elvin Evans. Helmets on. Do they have helmets on? They must have stopped further back. Oh, Sammy Pyre. Uh, he's just having a quick read through the notes. Can we grab a very quick word, Sammy? Or are you busy? I'm very happy if you are busy to leave you. Just a very quick word because it was an impressive drive through that opening stage this morning. Are you feeling comfortable and confident in the car? Yep, it's, it's quite fine. Yeah. But yeah, we just lost the hybrid, so. Where did that happen then? Like uh, halfway off the stage. So. Yeah, I, I don't have any idea why. Right, right, right. And are these the kind of stages where I, I guess the hybrid is, is, you know, you're feeling a real benefit from the hybrid, um, particularly coming out of the slower sections? Wow. Exactly, yeah. That's a little bit disappointing, but your drive was fantastic. Great time through that stage. Let's leave Sammy to it. Again, we see a lot of the drivers, they'll have these little notes just to remind themselves. So you've got the full pace notebook with every single pace note, but... A lot of the drivers on the front page, the front couple of pages, it'll be the reminders about the little sections that they really have to focus on uh, within that stage. So um, Sammy just making his way through. Yeah, he's lost the wing mirror there, the hybrids. A lot of talk about the hybrids just now, isn't there? And what we're going to do next year with hybrids. And yeah, a lot of debate. We'll, we'll find out more closer to the, uh, uh, the next World Council meeting in December as to whether we're going to keep the hybrids. But for Sammy Pyre, really frustrating, you know, Okay, we, we saw in the fast gravel rallies, where does the benefit come from the hybrid? Well, it comes not so much when the car's up to speed, when the car's flowing through the stages, fast gravel, we saw it in Latvia, we saw it in Poland. You know, the hybrid, yeah, it gives you a little bit extra as you head into those stages, but it doesn't give you a lot within the stages. Where it really comes into its own is in these sorts of stages, as you can imagine. You know, in these kind of stages, where you're coming out of, say, a corner like this, you've got the hybrid boost, and it gives you a kick into the uh, into the next straight, into the next corner. Uh, you haven't got that. You are definitely losing time, definitely losing time on these stages. So uh, a little bit, 
What, what, what is your thought, Elliot Cameron? What do you think? White, white, white rally cars. You, Elliot? I'll ask him later. I think he likes white rally cars. <sighs> what do you think? I do, I do like this one. I do. It's different. It is different. It is different. The white and red and black livery uh, is really different. I do like it, but I'm still an enormous fan of the black uh, Yaris's. I think they just look absolutely planted, particularly in this tarmac. Um, tarmac setup. Okay, let's leave these guys to it and, and wander down. Where do we think Takamoto San is? Very best of luck, guys. Where do we think he's much further back. We saw Elvin. I think him and Elvin stopped in the same place. He must have just further up there. Yeah, that's a real shame. I would like to have caught up with Taka San because he has had a great morning. I, would, I say a great morning. It's one stage, it's 10 Ks. He's had a great opening start to the rally. Who is this? That's ah, Gregoire. You must. Oh. Right, have a look. Come this way. Gregoire Munster and Lulu. We saw it on Formos car. They've signed each other's wings. I couldn't quite understand what Alex was saying about why they've signed each other's wings, but they have. Now, don't forget, don't forget, we've had one stage already this morning, so the, the drivers are very much into the rhythm. Okay, a long, long road section, but they are watching where they can. A little bit of all live, I have to say, Seeing the uh, the images coming out of the stage it does look a little bit wet in places. Let's have a word with Greggy. Uh, Greg, just watching those images, is it wet in the stage? Uh, maybe not wet, but uh, damp. It's damp for sure. Is it damp enough to go potentially? Would it have been damp enough to go with a wet tire? No, no. No, surely that the the stage is like 26, 27 k long. So I think uh, soft is not the the easy choice, but it's the best one, I think. Soft tires for this. Yeah. Your hard would be very difficult. Best of luck. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Up we get. Uh, Lulu, um, tell me the story behind signing the wings of the cars, because we saw it on Adrian's car as well. What's the story behind that? Uh, basically, I was out of the story because I was not there when they did it. But uh, oh, cool. I think it was a joke. I mean, like, Adrian just signed nice. on purpose. And then uh, Adrian did the same. Oh, uh, Alex did the same, sorry. So Greg went on Adrian's car signing the wing, and I did as well. I thought maybe it was a Christmas present for someone. Exactly. Yeah. It's a friendship story, let's say. A friendship story. We do like a little friendship story. And talking about friendship stories, a friendship story that has spanned 20 years with lovely Oliver Solburn. Uh, Oliver, I'm um, really good start to the rally for you. You know, oh, I just want to say that the signing of that arch sounded expensive for Malcolm. That. <laughs> <laughs> they can just peel off the, the coating on it, I'm sure of that. A uh, good start to the rally, Oliver. Um, you know, you're feeling comfortable there comfortable by the looks of things yeah you know it's not easy to get into it straight away when they have been such a long time on tarmac away but the uh, feeling is not so bad mm. so we'll see it's a it's a long rally and the, the citrons are quick but uh, yeah we'll do, do our best a lot of talk last year obviously about the amount of pollution on the roads with the cuts how is it looking out there this morning it's not so bad okay you have some corners obviously it will always be but uh, they have a lot of anti-cuts in place, so it keeps the roads quite nice and clean and enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, enjoyable for us, for sure. Uh, well, that was a long road section down here, wasn't it? No, it's okay. Is it okay? Okay. Along through the country. It was quite pretty. If you had the chance to look around and there wasn't too much fog, it was quite pretty. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah we've had worse road sections. <laughs> Did you have any breakfast this morning? I've had no breakfast yet. Uh, normally, I don't have a breakfast, but then the, my, my girlfriend forced me to have breakfast today, so she gave me eggs and, uh, and uh, sausage, so uh, I had no choice. It's a long day. It's a long day. It fills the stomach, gives you a little bit of energy. Into I this. need coffee in the morning and then I'm go. I'm with you on that. I'm with you. We, we've had a little coffee. And saving weights. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what are we on? We're, we're, on, we're, we're on? We're on softs here, aren't we? Everyone's on softs. No hard. You're on hard. No, I'm joking. No, thank goodness me. I'm gullible. I am totally gullible. Why do I believe everything that Solbergs say to me? It's ridiculous. No, apart from your mum. Your mum, your mum, I believe everything she says. You and your... My mother is more the Valfords on side, you know, they're more politically correct, you know, but me and my dad, we're more straightforward. Yeah, you're more influenced by the Henning side of things, aren't you? Uh, I, it, uncle... it, all, it all comes from my grandmother. She is much worse than me, Henning, and my dad and everyone. I can't wait. <laughs> right. And who is Uncle John? Is it Uncle John? Uncle Jay. Uncle Jay. Jonathan. Who is Uncle Jonathan? Is that your mum's brother? Yeah, yeah. It looks like he's quite good fun. Yeah, he's good fun. He's come with me now for it's his third rally, fourth rally this year. And uh, every rally he's been to, I've won. So uh, no pressure on me. Oh, uh, it's a fun family. The Solberg-Wolfridson family. It's a fun, fun family indeed.
Uh, we'll have a word with these boys. We followed them last night. Now, just to clear things up, there was a service this morning. Uh, so they did they did manage to get in and fix that damage to what was it, the rear rear right of the car. Um, Jordan's just taking his time. Let's take a look. This is where the damage was yesterday morning. It is all fixed, which is good news. But huge job for him to do. He lost 30 odd seconds, Johan, last night. He has picked up, sadly for him, uh, a little bit of a fine as well. He uh, basically, in his haste, shall we say, with that damage last night to get back to the uh, park for me, um, yeah, was, was driving a little bit quickly, unfortunately. Uh, you managed. No, no, no problem. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 your engineer just yeah. scared me. I, I was all for. I was all for just saying, come and let's go and listen and ask. But the voice of reason, who's Elliot, our yeah. cameraman, yeah. said no. Uh, you fixed that issue this morning? Yeah. My team, not me. <laughs> it was a bit scary last night, though, wasn't it? Because it all looked very, very difficult for you. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Uh, just, uh, just keep the the, the head uh, on the good uh, direction, and uh, now it's time to to think uh, about the racing. <laughs> yeah. uh, last night, though, we've seen the onboard. How close were you to rolling? It looked yeah, as if yeah, you... yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Normally, you have one hundred percent to yeah. to roll. The, uh, uh, very lucky, but it's not bad for <laughs> for me. Uh, and by the way, you might have to rethink about Christmas presents because of that fine. Have you heard about the fine? It happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe a couple of people dropped off the Christmas present list. Uh, good to see Johan, though, uh, looking and um, sounding still positive. Listen, do you know what? He needs to win this rally. And it is not, it is not beyond him yet to win this one. So much can happen here over the next three days. It's about keeping your head, as he said, it's about focusing on what's required and waiting to see. You'll make up a bit of time in the stages, I'm sure of that, but he won't be the only driver to have issues this weekend. He knows that and he knows that there's a long, long way to go in this rally. So as we have other crews turning up, we've got Jordan and Freddie there. Um, yeah, other crews turning up, other crews heading into the stages. We are heading off towards probably the third stage of the morning, stage five of the rally. Uh, we will update you on our progress and update you on anything that happens during the course of this morning, folks. There we are from our little road section before stage four. We'll see you all later.